Make some noise! Is in here. Do you think the general audience is running that back? Do you think that this is something that can hold, you know, the the general? I don't I think. think fall flats is an option, but I don't think it's going to captivate everybody yet. Being a slow burn, and I know people are going to wait so that they can binge it, but these first two episodes aren't so fucking incredible that... that that your ca your casual is gonna be like, oh, I'm so excited because mm -hmm. it doesn't show yeah. enough. It doesn't show enough, and it's too Easter eggy, right? You have to dive for the stuff that's getting us excited. Damn, so, Amatsu says it's yeah. going to fall. I think the moment it gets dark, and 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 real, and they have to use the powers, that's when all the casual is gonna be like, yep. oh shit, it's lit. I think it's gonna be yep. one of those uh, very fast hindsights, right? Like it's like it's gonna pass by and then once you get all of it people will understand how good it is yep yep um yep i think that's just because it is a slow burn yes the first mm -hmm. episode is slow you have to even have uh, i'm old sir so, <laughs> like i know the sitcoms are based off of if you don't this might be boring as fuck to you right like hey, yeah. why is she why is she doing that why did she when she fell back in mr hearts why does she do her feet like that because that's a trope yeah you know? Like, that's what they did back then to be funny. That's what Lucille Ball would do. You know, like, all these things. So, yeah, for the average person who's who maybe not a super comic book fan, who maybe may be an MCU fan, because now you have a world of MCU fan of Marvel comic fans who've never picked up a comic book, they may think it's boring, or they've done 23 films, and you kind of trust them. Yeah. You know? Right. You kind of trust the story. You kind of trust where they can go. Because if this was DC... It would be ran through the mud. Yeah, that's true. That's that's why I'm holding. That's why I'm holding this so close. This is that's why I'm like, man, this shit is gold to me right now. Because like, don't get me wrong, this shit ain't like by the book, but like they've gone the extra mile to make sure that even the the nerd like us can get in here and be like, this shit is good enough to generally say. Like for me personally, like it's already like some legendary shit like whatever happens after this like is it's every bit of icing that you could ever ask for and it's done so well like it's done so well to the point where it's not this this kind of cw super campy esque and, and, and i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that but i'm gonna be completely honest like that shit lasts two seasons two seasons yeah. you got me you know, for to tell me this story, to make me believe that this is some dope ass comic book shit, right? And like, don't get me wrong. Once again, I like what they tried to do, what they they tried to touch on. But the magnificent part of it is like the writing, right? Being able to portray these kinds of characters with these actors and actresses and all these thespians going in and like fucking, you know, taking their time to know the role like i love seeing ashley olsen like do interviews about this shit because she's so about it she's like yeah man you know no more mutants i'll cut this shit and even if that wasn't her design the fact that she goes on to like continue to do this like even like you know benedict cumberbatch right like the way that like he holds the character like is something that i never thought i would see come from an actor right like and not even just only on the side of the marvel guys but just you know if you stretch it out to see that like these shows these movies these characters have like transcended just being like just second rate like kind of like comic book names and now they're like on some standalone shit where the whole world is kind of like looking at it hey, hey trey live uh said yeah like he says that uh yeah i'd say so i'm sure the general public is mad confused right now but it's still yeah. interesting right yeah yep yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and they, they're gonna trust them and yeah, side note you just said you said uh ashley olsen Dog God, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like so many memes pop in my head when I hear about when I hear Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen name. Um, but yeah. Um, I was gonna say this uh, just to correct myself. It was Josh Whedon who pushed Paul Bettany, pushed for Paul Bettany, uh, to play Vision, uh, in uh, awesome. in a uh, Civil War. Oh, everybody uh, hates that guy now. You know what? I <laughs> someone in the chat said that they did not like the first Avengers movie and I'm with him on that like I'm with them on that 100% wow I like that's Josh a fucking Whedon, lie that is a I'm, fucking lie dude bro, you didn't like the first Avengers movie compared to what I liked it okay but I felt like Josh Whedon did not do service to the characters like he made uh the person who gave up everything to be a hero an asshole like and like 
that is not really Tony Stark. He was never that character ever again. The character, if you look at Avengers, the first Avengers movie, that char- the characters never act like that again. Uh, Thor, the way he talked, he never talked like that again. Like every, the way he pro- approached the character was very flawed to me, and, mm. out, of, and out of character. And I thought, that, I think he brought it back better with the Age of Ultron. But um, yeah, those those characters, that's not those aren't the same. That's not the same Iron Man. Like the the the, the fact that he wants Hulk to rage out on his ship. Like that's not that's not a thing that Tony Stark would do. A lot, I have a lot of problems with Joss Whedon on that first Avengers movie. I feel like he's he he saved it with what he did with uh, Civil War. Well, that wasn't he, him. I'm sorry, he uh, wasn't in Civil War. Uh, well, Age of Ultron. Excuse me. Okay, so I feel like people mostly have like, uh, and, and Ben, like I'm just gonna say this, and if you won't, you can like chime in, right? I think people have the reverse take. Uh, I think that everybody mostly goes for the Avengers. And a lot of people don't like Age of Ultron when it comes to. I feel like the reverse happened, and 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 even still, I'm the person that says that like I do like the original Avengers more than like Age of Ultron one, um, but I also appreciate like what happens, and, and and like just to even try to like talk about like what you were saying before, right? When you talked about how those characters never act like that again, I I disagree. I disagree, right? Like Tony is still very much Tony, but like because of the shit that happens to him he is now a lot more mature in even the sense of how he now the thing is i think if even more so the fact that they take him this is one thing that i applaud like them for being able to do make tony stark go from just hey man i'm out here womanizing to like this lovable man i want him to succeed as character and still be tony stark and still be have like this snarky snap i'm gonna go at you kind of attitude you know like I'm, I commend them for that. The fact that they made like these characters sell in such a natural way to show like natural like emotion towards each other, right? Like the way Tony and fucking Doctor Strange uh, interact the first time. Hey, you selling tickets yeah. and shit like that. Like the way that they made these characters over 10 years, right? Have a full blown, you you expect this from these characters. Like, and when I say I would, that, that to me felt like i was reading very much one of these ultimate style comics because we know ultimate like the universe was kind of like pushed harder right it was a little bit more extreme i feel like what they've done so far is paraphrase the generations of the characters that we know right like we saw cap say hell hydra right and that just happened in the past like 10 years or something crazy and they made that something that's a sellable thing because of where we where i as a nerd know that it comes from and the fact that it still plays on the movie side of it and even thor right like and at first i can be real one of my one of my original hot takes that i have now since like thought about and you know took back was like at first i was very like on not the outskirts on thor ragnarok because i really enjoyed the movie but like when i looked at it in the scheme of like what was happening in like the other Thor movies I was like man like I don't really get like what they were going for and I felt so stupid once I realized it right and I just look at you know Taika's work like his past work right and you think about you know that the original Thor is very Shakespearean um it's very you know um Broadway-ish I mean without the songs obviously excuse me but it's theatrical it's even more so theatrical than you know you going to this film to see it and that's why I thought like the original one did a good blend of showing like the clash of worlds that they come from and then in part two after like he gets more knowledge and he knows war even more so like and this is this happened upon my second viewing because I just recently came back from watching it again like I legit saw that this character I was like Man, Thor, I, I felt it, but I'm like, Thor has actually been through a bunch of shit. Like, you meet this character every time in a fight. Like, every time. Even though we know, right, like, that he has, like, Jane, and he's trying to, like, protect the realms and the whole nine. Like, he's dealing with a lot of shit. And to see his character, like, evolve to Thor Ragnarok level, and even on the side of still being, um, like, a theater-esque kind of play, like, it still fit every everything that i thought it would be like i'm like man where's the the shakespearean part of this and it's still there 
only with the quips of how they deliver them, how they they talk to each other. You know, like it was to me, it was it was so weird to me to go back and think about it. Like, man, that movie definitely kind of held up even more so than I originally thought. And it was only on that viewing that it kind of hit me. But I mean, I see what you're saying, though, Tech. I I get exactly what you're saying. I, I understand. I'm just saying, like, I don't think some I, I don't think sometimes that it's looked at enough how well they've done at like taking these characters and paraphrasing them to such context that they can put them on a exclusive show that you have to pay to see that like for this to even be you know a conversation for me is is actually ridiculous because we're paying so much attention dude like think about this we're paying so much attention to this show that we're analyzing the words that they said, bro. Like, it's yeah, that's crazy to me. Like, I'm not supposed to give this much of a fuck, but here we I are. I think that's how you're supposed to. I think that's how we're supposed to view most things. We just don't. Like, I think, like, someone sets out and puts twenty five million dollars to make something, or in movies are a hundred million, couple hundred million, and they want every word is on purpose. And I don't think we consume like that. I think maybe we should start consuming. Yeah, like I that. think well, a lot of TV is just about moving. Uh, moving the plot forward and, and, and a lot of TV is about like just creating like procedural uh, content, you know, monster of the week stuff, but this is so focused sort of like uh, a lot of TV these days, like uh, Lovecraft co a Country and stuff like that, like every word has its, it's, it's short yeah. intentional, there's not, there's no fluff, right, there's no monster of the week so every episode has to count and because we don't know what the hell's going on in this show, is why every word counts you know, yeah. Are we in her head? Are we in his head? Are we in Wakanda? So here's like, the thing, though. The way they, yeah. Even when I go back to older movies, I'm I'm picking up things now because I'm yep. not looking with yep. the analytical. That's eye. true. That's a hundred percent true. That's why I said that earlier. That's why I was like, even now, going back and looking at some of these things, I'm like, I even though like it gave knowing that where they went when I originally didn't know where they were going, going back and looking at it again has revealed more to me. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. it wasn't there. They were trying to sell. They were trying to say it or like slide it under the rug right here, right? Yeah. So, so answer me this, guys. Answer me this. Uh, unless Ben, you did you have anything else to add to that? I'm not like moving on or anything, but I, I just wanted no. to ask a question. Okay. Go for it. So we've seen, right? We've both, oh, we've all seen The Watchmen, right? We've all seen yeah, The I Watchmen on uh, HBO, which was done. You didn't? No. Are you serious? I fumbled so hard. I gotta go, guys. Oh. Bro, oh, it's been good, Tech. Get the hell out of here. No, just like, <laughs> no. Okay, so all right. Well, Ben, I, I guess we should make this shorter. Then I I'll do this then. Um, now that we've seen these first two episodes of Wandavision, uh, the fact that it is more played like it's like a psychological like sitcom thriller. You know what I'm saying? Like there, it's yep. not like menacing. It's not like you know this easy peasy like oh copy paste like these are very unique the, the themes change from episode to episode even though they have this big overarching story and and i think that it's a lot more intricate than people give it credit for like this or the watchman oh no uh just these shows in general right um I, and i was talking about like and to add the watchman to that is the fact that they were able to carry on not from you know the movie media but from the you know the comic book source and make another yeah. part to this story and then sell it to such a base that they can make make an award-winning hbo tv show yeah. with amazing yeah. actors and actresses you know and is yeah. And, and and I kind of want to, and I say all that to ask, like, is this the end of the the villain of the week um, show? Is is the, it like is every show going to have some overarching villain, or are we going to expect um, this quality from every superhero show that comes after this? I mean, and let me just say, I hope so, because well, please, I mean, please, yeah, that would be great, but that's impossible. What like, Ben? No. Can. You can't know, like, Ben. Just, no, only Disney can do this. You know, nobody else can do this. So the best you can do is like a Smallville thing where uh, it, it say, takes place in a small town and you don't need special effects, but you have good storytelling, something like that. You know, so, so not, not no other studio in the world can do 25 million an episode. That's insane. So 
but luckily Disney has absorbed everybody, so nobody else is going to have to do it. So, <laughs> but I think, yeah, I, so multi, I hate Monster of the Week. I'm definitely over that. I can't handle 25 episodes a season. I don't have that kind of time I, or, or, or willpower. But what I, I also don't like the, the, the fact that DC and Marvel have both spent multiple movies setting up one villain just to kill them. So what I want now mm. is a fucking rogues gallery. Give me, give me three, four, five, ten more villains. Let's fill the universe up. Damn. Let's give. So you saying build the base now? You want the now you want the full comic going experience where it's like. Sure, man. No, I mean, yeah, look, I I want that too. We're dealing with we're dealing with Doom. We're dealing with Magneto. We know Galactus is on the way. Like, let's set this shit up. I think right? they're already doing that, I, and I think yeah, they're doing yeah. it right in front of us too. Cause like, if you think about the fact that Baron Zemo is the guy, the bad guy in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they already have history, yep. you know, yep. and we know Baron Zemo can this can very much lead to the thunderbolts right and then you have you know george st pierre returning to said show the same show in his returning role so they definitely have a rogues gallery already building like it's already a thing and then yeah. like if you look at what they've done in spider-man like the the spider-man movies they've done even a better job of compacting those villains and building the backstory, That's right? True. It is That's fucking true. ridiculous how good they build those backstories, right? And 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 then like even if you switch it over, you know, and and look at the the main characters, they still c connect so well. They connect so well to what's already happening that you're gonna be way too. It's 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 just really intricate. That's all I'm trying to say. It's it sets up so much more for the future that. I don't think that, like, the fact that we have the secret invasion arc, like, what can come from this, bro? Like, think about that. Like, right. it goes into right. secret invasion. And it, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, I, I was definitely on a rant there. Like, we definitely have a, a rogues, we, we definitely have a rogues gallery kind of, like, building. And I'm happy, like, you're right. I actually didn't agree with them killing any of the villains, right? Like, I don't. They had to. Yeah. Right, they had to, right? Because that's the, I feel like that's the only way that people understand that kind of like these. I, I felt like that's what they perceived, right? Like because they're, I think that's one of the sales. I think one of the sales of these kind of the shows and movies is the fact that you resolve the conflict on the first go. I think that that's been, and I think that's been a large problem in just consuming these kind of things. Because I'm here to argue that you know these shows and like the way that they're putting these shows out on single season kind of feel where it's it's very anime-esque right where you get the cowboy bebop feel of it where it's like this is a very unique thing that is going to exist right now right like it's going to compare to like right now and then it you know trickles from there so i think that like it's a very cool thing the fact that they're looking at it more as like a very limited thing they're setting these things as like legacy parts of what's happening so like those characters mean that much more on the back end. And even if they're a side character, right? Like, the fact that, like, Rhodey is getting his own Disney Plus series in Armor Wars. Yeah. Like, that's fucking nuts. Like, they're doing a ridiculous job at that. And, and Ben, to, to talk about, just to, to briefly talk about your villain uh, getting killed off, we got Loki in 2011. And yeah, we still got Loki. Loki. Well, I mean, they killed him multiple times, but yeah. But we still got Loki, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had yep. to kill Thanos. That was that wasn't even a question, and it was a tr it was a trade, right? We lost yeah. Iron Man. Um, who else? Uh, Bar the Baron, and you know, I didn't even really appreciate his his character as a villain until I watched it again this week. His, yeah, his, his, we got Red, his, we got Red Skull. Red you Skull. You got the guy from you got the guy. Uh, well, every villain from Iron Man. Also, 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 two things about like coming back. Like one, two things about Red Skull, right? Like. They say, like, they said that Red Skull has no memory of who he was, right? Do y'all remember this? Did y'all see this? No. So yeah. they, they said that, like, Red Skull as a character has no memory of who he was. I call bullshit. Wow. I call yeah. bullshit. I think that's bullshit. Because he says a line. He says, I too held an infinity stone. I mean, how the fuck yeah. do you know that if he has no memory of where he came yeah. from like how, how the fuck is that true like he literally he has to be lying um Real talk, though, i need to figure out i need to see how chris how captain america brought that goddamn stone back to him i need to see that right they said that and they said like they i don't i can't remember exactly what they said but they definitely referenced that shit 
He said, yeah, he said he remembered holding an infinity stone. Even though he has no yep. memory. They was like, yeah, man, he's just like a hologram. I'm like, that's not possible. Not like a hologram, but like he's not that kind of entity anymore. I'm like, but how would he not know? How does he know this if he didn't have any memory of prior, right? Uh, uh, well, what we do know is that the, the Marvel rarely says things in these movies without a purpose. Mm -hmm. So you get ready for that to come back and bite us in the ass. <laughs> and I think, I think too, it, it may set us up for the, 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 the thought process at least. That the stone can preserve you, it can save you, it can mm -hmm. put you somewhere else, yeah. which is the possibility for this show, WandaVision, just to bring it all back. They, they could, you know, it could, it could have some type of correlation because they, you know, uh, that would make Red Skull as old as Captain America, and he was frozen for seventy years. I got so, a theory. Oh. So somebody in the chat like an hour ago said in the comics when the stones were destroyed, they would just a new set of stones would show up somewhere else. Okay. I believe that would happen. So what if, a, what if a new... What's the one in his envisioned as a soul stone? Mind. Mind stone. So what if the mind stone took Jarvis with it and when it showed up somewhere else, so this new mind stone is Jarvis and she's out to find it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Or whatever. It's, it's vision. The new, so the new, the new mind stone is vision and it's out there on its own somewhere trying to find its way home. Oh, damn. Damn, that's pretty buff, actually. Yeah. Or or all this is actually or they found it. Sword found it and they've got it in a machine and this is happening inside the mind stone and they're trying to envision's trying to find his way out. I just had a really dumb theory. So what if this is head. all what if this is all inside the vision the the mind stone instead of inside Wanda's head? Possibly. That I think I think that's a possibility. I, I definitely really think that's a possibility. Who's doing this to you, but still. Yeah. What if Tony Stark when he snapped Thanos out of existence also said, I need more people to protect our world. Damn, that'd be crazy. <laughs> right. I think the mutants I mean, I'm, came I'm, I think the mutants I, came along earlier than that though. I think, think I, so? I, I oh yeah, I, I think that like there's a lot of unexplained time for for the they what they could feel with characters from the Marvel universe and mostly it will be mutants, right? And the only reason I say this is because we have the five year gap um, we also have, and, and, and this goes to my theory that like Thanos create, went in helping in creating the activation of mutants. I think there was like some original mutants and I think like in that five year snap, like there was more mutants created. And I think that's where it comes from. I think so if, if that's the case, there's been 10 years of mutant activity that at least 10 years, excuse me, uh, of mutant activity that we didn't know about and that they could explain with like some flashbacks right and this once again this also plays to my theory that they could very potentially make a hulk movie right where the hulk was just wandering the earth after the hulk movie he still went and did other shit right they yeah. could use that as a way to introduce wolverine right because that's where one of his first showings was right if they ever that's touch right. on you know what i'm saying like they could do stuff like that like they could yeah, the wolverine's first appearance was in a hulk Right. Oh, he had he had a uh, the fight with the Hulk. It was in a Hulk, yeah, it was in a Hulk comic. Yeah. His first appearance. <laughs> so like, think about that. Like, I think that yeah. that's the kind of stuff that they could do with all this open time, right? Like, what if? And this is another thing, right? People are saying like, oh well, hey, I'm gonna play. Like Cap is coming back, right? What if Cap is signing another deal to be in Secret Invasion and he's like secretly a scroll or some shit and that's the last time you see him in the role? Wouldn't that fuck you up? You know, that's what I'd be thinking. I'm like, what if they did that? They're just like, yeah, man, he's back for a secret role, but he's definitely playing Captain America, right? And part of the ploy was the fact that he was just a scroll in Secret Invasion and that would be the most fucked up. And like, he just can't, like, he doesn't die or anything. He just can't stay yeah. Captain America, you know? We can, we can go on for hours. That is actually what, true. What, that is, what, that is actually happened, true. What, what we wish. But, uh, so we, the, we, we need to get this all out of the way now so that when we talk next time, we can just talk about episode three. That's uh, true. That's true. That's why I said right. let's just go full blown in on episodes one and two. <laughs> you know, because I knew what was going to happen. I knew we, we, we have to come in and pour out the theories, you know. We have to bring all our proper servings to the table. And then, you know, then... We can now officially open it because now I'm gonna watch the two episodes again. Oh my! My God. eyes will be done with this, right? Like I'll do my my actual analysis, right? And I'll be all ready for episode three. And then episode three is just episode three. We don't need to, you know, go any further than that. We can just stay within those confines. I love it. Yep. Yep. 
Well, well, either way, let, let me just say this. Do, do either one of you gentlemen have anything else to add to the table bef before we conclude these talks? I just want to say WandaVision, um, the, sh the show is very well written and people need to pay attention to that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, wait Otori says, wait, Otori says, here's a bet. They're definitely going to go all out again next week when you watch episode three. <laughs> oh, right. And it doesn't matter because I'm a completely okay with that. What about you, Ben? You you got you got anything for the people out there? No, man. Like I said, I, I came into this pretty empty headed you know mm -hmm. we watched the whole mcu again last year back to back almost like two or three times a week we watch a movie so we we shotgun the whole thing in like three weeks mm -hmm. so i'm pretty fresh on it of course been reading for the chat been reading comics my whole life making comics right now so mm -hmm. i'm no dummy but i'm also not as researched as everybody else yeah so uh i, I i'm kind of just on the outside here watching the chat watching you all dig up these deep easter eggs and stuff no, like, oh, um, I, I think that's cool. Yeah. That's part of it, dude. That's part of the dynamic that we my, have going here. This is why all my theories were MCU theories, not deep comic book theories, you know. So, see? Like, see? Oh, I like yeah. the transparency, man. This, this is why you're here. <laughs> I just want you to know right. that's right. why you're fucking here right there. The transparency just right instantaneous. I mean, look, right I, I, like, I know where you come from, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, your world and comics. So I wasn't too surprised. But just the fact that, you know, you share those kind of things. But before we, we go on and I start playing Uncharted 4 because I never beat it and I'm just going to kill this bad boy. I just finished. Uh, uh, I beat God of War. So now I'm going to start Uncharted 4. Um, awesome. Can you tell the people out there, both of you guys, can you tell the people where to follow Twitches, Twitters? phone numbers if you want that kind of company can you talk to the people real quick both of you guys go ahead ben well you can't have my phone number but uh i am everywhere at sketch sawyer including sketchsawyer.com uh and before i say goodbye steve did you go back after you beat god of war did you go back home yes Yes, okay. I did. I did okay. go back home because okay. the chat was like, yo, Good. Steve, go back home. Oh, and okay. uh, I had your back. Okay. Yeah, the Good. chat, no. Like, I told them no spoilers, but they were just like, all right, you beat it now. Go do this thing. That Which was sick. But once you start the new yep. game plus, they tell you it was just a dream. But we already know that his dreams are like visions. So right. he and said he had a dream Ragnarok, about it. So. <laughs> right? right? Yeah. Right. That game was fucking phenomenal, by the way. Yes, it was. Yeah, I can't, like, we were talking about it, and, like, people was like, nah, man, it's the same year Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, so people weren't fucking with it like that, and I'm like, bruh, how? Like, I know I'm late to the party, but goddamn, dude, like, that game was really fun. I had my issues with, like, the camera locking and shit, but anyways, let me stop talking. Tech, the floor is yours, <laughs> good sir. All right, I go by the name of... Tech Supreme. Oh! I, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a producer and recording engineer and graphic designer. I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from noon until about 4 or 5. Uh, check me out on YouTube as well. Tech Supreme on everything. Tech Supreme. I'm everywhere. Spotify, Apple, <laughs> all everything. Just Tech Supreme. Everything Supreme. Do it again. Do, do it again, please. Tech Supreme. <laughs> that was so god like god damn it either way gentlemen it's always a pleasure um i'm gonna get these guys all set up so we can play uncharted 4 i'm gonna take a quick break too um we'll be back to close out and then uncharted 4 just stay tuned guys <laughs>